over the hill, and he holed the putt for a two. I think it gave him a net one or something. And they asked him how long the putt was. He said, I'd like to have that much real estate on Wilshire Boulevard. <laughs> uh, what was your first year? 51. 51. And when did you quit playing? With Dutch Air. I quit playing in 51. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was one of the most charming, personable, delightful gentlemen that I have ever known. Certainly one of the great entertainers and one of the funniest guys that God ever put on the face of this earth. We go back a lot of years from uh, Phil and I were partners for a number of years and uh, uh, I used to, Winnie used to bring him bourbon balls from uh, uh, Ligonier, Pennsylvania. That's the, only, that's the only reason I came. I couldn't play golf, but I wanted those bourbon balls. <laughs> he was extremely approachable, had a quick wit, great sense of humor, and, um, and he loved golf, he loved sports, uh, and he loved to laugh. He was really the, one of the first celebrities that ever talked to me here at the, at, the, uh, at the tournament and at Pebble. He was, he, he almost took the tournament as his own. And a uh, great friend of golf, great friend of Pebble Beach. And uh, I think he's gonna be missed, greatly missed. You cry out here and then you go on with life and, uh, and, and take the wonderful memories that you have of Phil with you. And I got one on 17 for Phil and I playing and singing. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean those bare necessities are Mother Nature's recipe for just the bare necessities in life. As long as there is golf played at Pebble Beach, there will always be warm memories of Phil Harris. <laughs>